year ago or so, I can't remember exactly, I introduced you to the, well, you guys already knew about it, but what I was doing with the T-TWR, I call it the T-Tower by Lilio. And I 3D printed a case, and here's the PLA after a year. And I beat it up. I mean, putting it in the case, I mangled the jog wheel. You can see the screen's coming off. But I'm going to tell you I what. I programmed this as a digipeter and eye gate. And despite the mutilation it suffered in the year in my truck, the heat, the bumping it around, the throwing it around, it did the job. It did not fail. However, when I broke it, I promised myself I was going to punish myself by getting a new one. So I finally got around to that. And here's the T Tower Plus, T TWR, no, version 2. This isn't the plus, it's the version 2. And you can see the button right there. The M17 guys were using this as a handheld transceiver with M17 on it. And it's a unit with an ESP32 in it. But I bought this and put the APR software on it. So I'm using, if people want to talk about the Spurious, I've got an RF filter on here that's uh, keeping it right in the two meter band, keeping any transmissions that are Spurious away from the band. And I put the T-Tower APRS software on again. And here it is, it's still working, doing its job. Pretty much the same construction, 18650 battery jog wheel a few other things you can look up if you're interested but the t-tower is doing well got to get rid of this there we go the t-tower is still doing its job take it easy guys